Hello, my dear friends. This is Phil again, and welcome back to my channel. As we know, the double XP weekend is coming in two days' time. It's gonna start on this Thursday and finish on next Monday. It's a great chance to level up your characters in the double speed. So this episode is gonna help you to understand how you can benefit from all sorts of resources to maximize your level up speed. There are many different resources which can help you to level up quicker. So basically, they can either increase the percentage of XP you gain for every queue, or they can increase your intelligence, and each point of intelligence going to give you more than 2% of XP you can gain for every queue. So what we're going to cover here, we're going to cover all of the resources in this episode. I'm also going to show you what's the best location to find those mobs which give you the best XP per queue. And that combined with all the buffs you get for XP, you're going to level up in super speed. So first of all, let's talk about all the elements that can boost your percentage of XP per queue directly. The best item you can use to boost your XP bonus is apparently the lunchbox. There's many ways you can earn lunchbox. You can either buy them from the atomic shop or you can rank up in the scoreboard where you can gain lunchbox from time to time. So each lunchbox gives you 25% XP bonus and you can use four of them at the same time and they're gonna stack together give you 100% XP bonus. That means you can gain XP in double speed. Combine that with the double XP weekend. That means four times of XP per queue. That will be the best buff you can get inside the game. And besides this, you have food, which can buff your XP gain as well. The best food for XP boosting for carnival is this tasty squirrel stew. You can get the recipe by doing all sorts of events in the forest area, so it's fairly easy to get because all of that events are for low level players. It gives you 10% XP bonus if you are not muted as carnival. It gives you 20% XP bonus if you are carnival. And if you join the public team with stringent number perk equipped, that gonna boost the bonus XP to 25%. That's a super boost from the food. That's the best one for carnival. And to craft this tasty squirrels too, you're gonna need your foot bench. Under prepared, here is a tasty squirrels too. Most of the ingredients are much easier to find, like bottled water, tato, you can find it in almost every single farm. The difficult part is the salt and squirrel bats. If you visit all sorts of restaurant buildings inside the game, for example, the West Sprint Golf Club, you can find plenty of salt over there. You can do several hopping to find more apparently at the same place. The most difficult one is the squirrel bit. So let me show you where to find the squirrels. Let's go to the top of the world. Okay, here we are. After we land it. Just run down to this cliff. You see that tower over there? That's the direction we want to go. Here, under this tree, there are normally three squirrels born. Unless they are killed by someone else. That's a squirrel. I think we have three of them somewhere. Yep, that's three of them. But before you kill them, make sure you equip the essential perk which is the Butcher's Bounty. That gives you a 60% chance to double your meat loot. Then we can kill those squirrels. See that Butcher's Bounty triggered? We have two squirrel bits instead of one. Ah, lucky, that's another two. Now we got six squirrel bits. We need to find some turtles. Now I have plenty of turtles in my camp. Let's quickly pick up a few. Before crafting the food, make sure you equip the super duper. Okay, I got super duper. Now let's try to cook some tasty squirrels too. Now we have the tasty squirrels too. 
As you can see, it boosts my XP 25%. Unfortunately, the food effect will not stack, so you cannot take multiple stews here to actually boost your XP further. Now for herbivore, there's also food to actually boost your XP, and you will want to go to White Spring Resort to find the recipes. Once you land it, just go into the resort. Once you are in, go downstairs and turn right. Follow the corridor. On your left hand side, there's pink buildings, which is called La Grande Gourmet. Go in there, talk to the chef, Antoni. He always have a lot of different recipes in stock, as well as food. You can see here, the one you want to buy is called Brin Bombs. This is the best food for herbivore to boost your intelligence and hence boost your XP gain. You can also buy the cranberry relish recipe from this boat. Unfortunately, I don't have it on this server, but if you do server hop, you will find it. And he also sells this brain fungus soup. That's the second best food to actually boost your intelligence, if you're a herbivore. Now to craft the brain bombs or the cranberry relish, you need to use a full bench. Under the prepared food, you can find brain bombs, which gives you 6 points of intelligence. If you're a herbivore, but if you join the team, it's gonna give you 7.5. So to cook these brain bombs, you're gonna need brain fungus, mothman egg, purified water, sugar bombs, and wood. Among this, the brain fungus and mothman egg is easy to get in the world, but the sugar bomb is a bit of difficult. And as mentioned, the brain fungus soup is the second best to boost your intelligence. It gives you full point. If you're in a public team, with the stringent number perk on, I'm gonna give you five. It's much easier to cook. You only need bottled water and a brain fungus. So if you have trouble to get sugar bomb, just use the fungus soup. Now to get the brain fungus, you have to go to the West Brain service entrance. So here we are. So once you land it, turn 180 degree backwards and head into this valley. You're gonna see a lot of dead bodies have been dumped in the trash bin and they actually boost the growth of brain fungus. Make sure you equip green thumb to double the loot. So now I got plenty of fungus for my cooking. So the next ingredients on the menu is the Mothman egg. To get that, you should go to Point and Pleasant. Once you land it, just follow the street, go forward, and kill all the cultists in your way. Now here, under the statue of the Mothman, there are plenty of eggs you can pick up. Okay, I think I pick up all of them. That should be plenty for me. Yeah, that's it. And before you cook the brim bomb, make sure you equip the super duper. Let's quickly create some bombs. There we go. And that's how you craft brim bombs. And for herbivore, the counterpart of the tasty squirrel stew is called cranberry relish. As I mentioned, you can get this recipe from the chef Anthony in West Brain Resort. You're gonna need boiled water, cranberry, gourd, and sugar. Among this, I think the gold is the most difficult thing to find. Let me show you how to find all the ingredients on the map. Firstly, we want to go to Iron Hot Homestead for cranberries. Once you land it, go straight ahead. Clear a few flies here. Here you see the cranberries. Remember to have your green thumbs on and pick up all of them. That should be all of it. And to get the sugar, we have to go to 
Hey folk, hot dogs. We need to farm a certain plant along the riverbed. Then we're gonna turn that into sugar on the cooking bench. After we land it, we want to turn left and go to the riverbank. From here, you follow the river, turn right. Along the river, you're gonna find a plant called snaptail reed. You can make them into sugar. And there are plenty of them. Not this one. We're looking for something bigger. Ah, that's the one. They're quite stunning out along the river. You won't have trouble to find them. Just follow the river straight ahead. There are more of them. Okay, I think I got enough. And do take some dirty water with you because you're going to need to boil them into boiled water. Now I'm back to my camp. To craft the cranberry relish, I think we need something else. i craft some boiled water. Remember, always have your silver duper on. That's a brain fungus soup as I mentioned. Now we need to find cranberry relish. If you're too lazy to craft cranberry relish, there's a second choice for you, which is cranberry cobra. It's much easier to cook, you only need cranberry and wood. It gives you 13% XP bonus instead of 25. But we're actually aiming for cranberry relish here. Let's see what else we need. We need gold and sugar. So I think we can craft some sugar now with a snap tail. We just collect it. There it is. Now we got sugar. We just need some gold. And gold is not easy to find. I would suggest to collect a few of them in the world and plant them into your camp. So here is one spot. You can get one gold. It's right here. Make sure you have your green thumbs on to collect this one. In West Spring, there's another one in one of the rooms. It's right here and in this big room. Cleared the goo already. It's on this table, in this plate. There's another gold you can collect. So with both gold you collected, I would suggest go back to your camp and plant them. And now we can finally craft our cranberry radish. We got all the ingredients here. Let's quickly craft some. Here is it. The newly crafted cranberry radish. Give us 25% XP bonus when you are in the public team with stringent number equipped. So there are other elements to boost your XP gain directly. For example, one of the perks is very very handy, which is under Chris Mark. It's called Inspirational. As long as you're on a team, whether it's public or private, you're gonna gain 15% extra XP. You can also gain another XP buff by lying down in your bed in your camp. You sleep about one minute, that's gonna give you another 5% XP bonus. There are three variants of this effect, and each of them lasts in different periods. For example, this candle spirit lasts for three hours. Another two variants actually last one hour and two hours respectively. And if you didn't learn how to cook tasty squirrel stew, there's an alternative way to gain XP bonus for carnivals. It's called canned meat stew. It lasts for one hour and boost your XP 12% if you are in the public team and if you have the stringent number perk equipped. If you are not in the public team and if you are not carnival, it will boost 5% of your XP. 
To get this kind of meters too, what you need to do is actually to join this Feed the People event in the forest area. It's pop up very often and a lot of people doing that. It's a very low level event. Even if you are just level 5, if you see this event pop up and you see other players playing this event, go join them. By finishing this event, you're gonna gain the canned meat stew as reward. The good thing about this food is it lasts forever. It will not spoil. It's not as strong as the tasty squirrels do, but it's much easier to get and actually boosts exactly decent. So there's another event which gives you a 5% XP boost as reward as well, which is called the Path to Enlightenment. It's also a low level event in the forest area. By the end of the event, if you talk to the Wisdom of Mothman, it gives you 5% XP boost, which could last one hour again as well. This event doesn't always happen when you try to level up. So it's just some icing on top of the cake. Whether you get it or not, it will not affect too much about your leveling up. And beside all of this, there are another two elements that can boost your XP. One is this bubble head leader. It can give you another 5% extra XP on top of everything else, as we just introduced. It lasts for one hour, and there's a magazine called Live and Love 8 to give you another 5% XP gain on top when you are in the team. But unluckily, I don't have that magazine in my stash, so I can't really show you here. But the bubble heads and the magazine, they are random spawn in the world. There's no reliable resource to get them. You have to pay attention when you're traveling around the world. When you see them, make sure you pick them up. Both the bubble head and magazine last for one hour. But if you equip one of the perks, they're gonna double the duration of the bubble head and the magazine. It's also under the lock called Curator. It could be a good idea to actually equip this perk on. I believe that's all the elements inside the game you can currently have to actually boost your XP gun directly. Let's do a quick sum up. Each box, four of them give you 100% XP gun. Tasty Squirrels do for Carnival and Cranberry Relish for the Herbivore. Both of them give you 25% XP gun when you are in the team and have strange in number perk equipped. And another 15% boost from the perk card Inspirational under the Charisma when you are in the team again. 5% from sleeping well in your bed. 5% from Bubblehead Leader. And 5% from the Wisdom of Mothman in the event of the Path to the Enlightenment. Another 5% from Magazine Live and Love number 8. So that's all the elements you can get inside the game. I would say some of them are not easy to get and some of them are very easy to get. For example, lunchbox, you can buy them using gold bullion from the foundation sailor. The food is fairly easy to craft if you know the recipe and you see how you can farm the ingredients for them as I just explained earlier. That's a big 25% boost. 15% uh, from the perk, inspirational, definitely do that. Join the public team or join the private team, I don't care, but join the team. Lot of benefits by joining the team in the game right now. The 5% from sleeping in your bed, that's very easy to get as well. So that's all the elements you can boost your XP gun directly. As I mentioned earlier, by boosting your intelligence, you can boost your XP gun as well. It's about 2-3% to extra XP you can gain for every single intelligence you have. Apparently, the best way to do that is to be a blooded. As a blooded build with a full set of unyielding armor, I can gain 15 points to my intelligence. If I maximize my intelligence to 15 points, that gives me easily 30. And with Egghead mutation, I gain 8 points intelligence as well on top. So during the double XP event, I can change my intelligence to 15 to maximize the XP gain. That will help me to gain the most XP as I can in the game. And besides that, make sure you join the casual public team it's better to have four people in the team because that's gonna give you four points extra intelligence, which is about another 10% extra XP you can get. And apparently if you have unyielding armor with the plus one intelligence legendary attribute, that's gonna be fantastic. If you have five of them, that's gonna give you another five extra intelligence on top of the 15 points 
that the Unit Armor already gave you. And also, the Under Armor can give you the Intelligent Boost as well. For example, here I have this Shielded Vault 94 Jump Shoot. If you have Vault 76 Jump Shoot, that will work as well, as long as you learn this Shielded Lining, which gives you two extra points of intelligence. But the best one for the Under Armour is the Shielded Lining mode with the Casual Under Armour. Unfortunately, I don't have it. But what it's going to do, it's going to give you 4 Intelligent Points instead of 2, which is about another 5% extra XP on top of this one. But if you don't have it, I don't think that's going to be the end of the world, because we have a lot of other elements that can boost your intelligence as well. For example, the best thing, which is always the food. So for herbivore, you can eat brain bombs, which boost 7 points of your intelligence, or you can eat the brain fungus soup, which gives you 5 extra intelligence. If you are a carnivore, the best thing you can do is the boiled scorch beast brain. It's this one. It gives you 8 points of intelligence, and it's fairly easy to get, as long as you can kill scorch beast. Just go to the fisher site in the map, there's plenty of them on the map. Go to kill the Scorch Beast, they have a chance to drop the brains. Oh, you can try your luck with Jasmine, if you have it as your ally. She always has some good food. You can either buy recipe from her, or you can buy cooked food from her. Unfortunately, she doesn't have any broad Scorch Beast brain in stock at this moment. Make sure you visit her every 24 hours, she can refresh her stock from time to time. Another way to boost your intelligence is camps. The best one is Berry Mantis. It gives you 5 extra intelligence for 5 minutes, and you can always use Camp Fint to actually double the length of any camps you use. That's gonna make the Berry Mantis last for 10 minutes. And okay, let's do a quick sum up on all the elements that can boost your intelligence here. Food, the Brain Bomb gives you 7, and the Fungus Soup gives you 5 for Herbivore. The Boiled Scorch Beast Brain gives you 7 as Carnival. The Barry Mantis gives you 5 intelligence. Being in a casual team with 4 members gives you another 4 intelligence. And Yielding Armor with the Bloodied Build gives you 15 points on intelligence. And the Legendary Effects of plus 1 intelligence even give you more intelligence points. Of course, the Shielded Under Armour also gives you extra intelligence points. So that's all the elements which can boost your XP gain inside the game. Now, with all of this XP buff feed, there's one problem we need to solve. How to keep them as long as we can, so we can always use them whenever we need them. The best solution is use one of your moves. So though I use five of the slots to create five different characters. One of them, I didn't actually play that much, and he actually is carrying a lot of XP boost food just for the double XP event coming. So for example, the ball, the Scotch Beast Brain, as we explained earlier, and he actually have this on, I think, for at least a few months. He also carry my company teas as well. As I mentioned in another video, it's for AP boosting. He's also carrying the Tasty Squirrel Stew, one of the best food for XP boost. He's having this for half a year maybe. So as long as you don't log into the game, you can just use them as a freezer storage. The food on them will never ever spoil. Another good trick to keep the food as long as they can is make sure you actually equip the level 3 good with salt, which is gonna reduce the spoil speed to only 10%. In that case, even you want to play this character from time to time, you can still keep the food on him. I don't need to worry, it's gonna spoil. Now I'm gonna show you where you should actually farm those XP's inside the game. First of all, West Tech Research Center. There are always a bunch of super mutants outside the facility, and the inside is supposed to be filled with super mutants as well, but unfortunately, due to a bug at this moment, the inside spawn is totally screwed. Most of the time you're going there, no mutants are alive. So make sure you just run through the outside of the building to take all the mutants out. I'm not gonna fight them for the purpose of this video. Then you go to Huntersville. There are a bunch of super mutants as well in this location. The next up, I would go to the steakhouse. There are some mutants outside and inside the steakhouse as well. The full stop, I'm gonna go to Isolated Radio Array. You can find a bunch of Super Mutants in this location as well. So basically, the high level Super Mutant is the best XP resource inside the game. And as I introduced in my last episode, there's the best way to farm Super Mutants in the Fort Atlas, in the basement. If you've done the Breath of the Steel quest line and reached the last one, which is called the Best Defense, it's gonna request you to go into the basement under the Fort Atlas. There are plenty of Super Mutants for you to kill. Once you clear the map, 
do fill in the quest, which actually asks you to actually blow up some entrance to stop the mutant to come in, which is something you don't want to do. Change your server from there, and you can redo the quest and kill the mutants in the basement once and again. You can repeat this as many times as you want. The good thing about this is nobody gonna take away your super mutant because it's instance. Once you change the server, it's guaranteed there are super mutants waiting for you in the basement under the atlas. And you can also go to the Grafton Dam and Grafton Steel. There are plenty of super mutants as well, but they are not as high level as the previous locations. But again, it's still good resources for XP. I know a lot of players also like to farm the ghouls of XP, either in the barrel or in West Spring Gulf and the buildings around this area. But for me, it's probably not good enough because ghoul, they are good in numbers, but each one doesn't give you as much XP as the super mutants. Oh, this is the great timing. The radiation rumble event is currently the best resource for XP farming. If you see this event popping up during the double XP weekend, make sure you join it. If you have a Tesla rifle, make sure you bring it with you so you can take as many glowing ghouls as you can. There are waves after waves of glowing ghouls and each of them give you a good amount of XP. With all the buffs that I introduced earlier, you can level up many times in one single event. Okay, that's everything about how do you level up as quick as you can during this double XP weekend. I hope you like all the information I gave you in this single video. It covers every single aspect on XP farming and leveling up. Now I hope you can level up as many as you can during this double XP event. And don't forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. But until next time, Phil Legends out.